I lived off publishing for pretty much half of my life now. So that's important. You do the math, <laughs> you know. Nowadays, we're, we're in the internet age. A lot of people are just collaborating online, not really in person. But you, you pretty much know all the producers you work with on a personal level, right? I would say a good, about 70% of them. 30% is just me kind of working with somebody that I don't know and in which most of the time by the time I write the first song for them they call me like oh my god who are you like <laughs> and then we kind of establish from then all right this is our relationship we get a placement we gonna bust it down and that's how we gonna work you're from Milwaukee Wisconsin you have a in that city you have a tradition of, of some pretty dope songwriters who are, who are some of the songwriters from that city that inspired you the the biggest songwriter I guess we'll say is um, Rico Love. Uh, he's amazing. Um, funny story. I recently pissed him off. Like <laughs> I was I was sitting around with some of my friends and they was just like comparing everybody in the city um, who song wrote and was like, "Yo, Rico Love, he's at the top." And I was like, I was like, "Yeah, man, he's dope." I, I was like, I would really love to write to the same beat that he wrote to, just so we can hear our differences because we're pretty similar. You get what I mean? So I wrote on my status like, man, we should we should write to the same beat. Like we should have a a, a write off. Man, he got so mad at me. Like he was like, listen here, young pup. When you get as much placements as I have, then we can write together. Like I was like, uh, like listen, like yo, you got it, bro. I was just, it was just kind of funny and fun to me. But yeah, Rico Love. Uh, my favorite is this guy named Ike Ike the writer. Um, sounds. Um, those guys are amazing. Milton, yeah. Earlier we were talking about how um, songwriters don't get advances, mm -hmm. but recently you've written some songs that have gotten quite a bit of radio play okay. and other types of, of attention that, that's generated performance royalties. What do those checks look like? What I will say about them are you would get like one or two big checks and then the rest would be just scattered out a couple of five hundred dollars four hundred dollars but what i will say is they come when you least expect it so you'd be happy like oh i got bt just sent me two hundred dollars like you get what i'm saying and you're like i don't know why oh because that was an, i was on sunday's best and i didn't know i didn't know i i actually got a call like because i wrote a a, a a gospel record by zicardi cortez and i i got a call like yo they singing your song on uh sunday's best and if you don't know what that is Google it. <laughs> anyway, the uh, they sang they sang the song on Sunday's Best, and all of them were singing, and I'm getting money from that. So when I got the two hundred dollars, considering I only had twelve percent of the song, like you get what I mean, twelve point five percent. That was a good amount, you know. But basically, how it generally works is like they had this plateau when you getting played on the radio, radio, radio. They had this plateau. You get real big, and then that when that check comes. It may be anywhere from a thousand to five thousand to ten thousand, and then, then it just dwindled down from from there. And depending on how long you stayed on top, we were lucky for that song uh, to stay on top for two. We got two awards, two ASCAP awards for them. But let, let's be honest; these are in their own right very successful songs, but they're not smash hits. They're not Rihanna. They're not right. They're not people. Rihanna. No. But it's still a good. Income. amount of money yeah yes and that's publishing that's simply off of publishing and generating performance rights off of the, the publishing I can't tell you when I had a job um, <laughs> I lived off publishing uh, for people that would consider to be not big artists for pretty much half of my life now so that's so important you do the math you know yeah